Hello everyone, and welcome to part 2 of how to make Breakout in Unity. So last time, we created our game scene in order to just create our scene boundaries. And now, for this one, we are going to make our bat move left and right to make it so we can launch our ball to bounce off the, the uh, walls. But first, I recommend having your display size set to 16 by 9 and your camera size to be 7.05. That way what you see in the um, game scene and what I see are going to be similar enough that it's easier to follow along. So now, let's get started with our bat movement. In order to move the bat around, we're going to need to add two components to our bat. First is a box collider, because we want it to be able to hit the uh, other colliders and hit our ball. Second is a rigid body, because we want it to react to physics as we are moving it. Now that we have those two on, we also need to set the gravity scale to zero. But after that, we can now create our new script, name it Bat Controller, and we can start programming, making it move left and right. So here we are in our Bat Controller script. I've sort of gone over how to make it objects move in the how to make pong tutorial but if you need a refresher here's what we do first I'm going to declare a private rigid body 2d object and just name it RB when this scene is loaded I want the start function to assign RB the value uh, tell RB that it's the rigid body 2D component attached to whatever this game object or this script is attached to. And then in the update function, we are going to ask the user, ask the uh, script, if there is input on the keyboard. And that key code is the left arrow right arrow, and no key at all. All right, else, left arrow, right arrow, and then one more else for no key at all. Now that we have this done, I can start by saying Having rb.velocity equal a new vector 2, and then in the x direction, I want my bat to move negative 5, the y direction, 0. And then when you're pressing the right key, I want to move positive 5, and when I'm pressing no key at all, I want it to stop moving. Now when I go into my unity, window and press left key it moves to the left when I press the right key it moves to the right now to get the ball bouncing first I want to just get rid of these blocks from the scene because we only needed them for positioning our camera and getting our boundaries now I'm going to add two components once again, this time a circle collider in order because a, the shape of our object matches a circle better than a cube. Plus we want it to be able to bounce at 45 degree angles. I feel like a circle would just be more logical. And we want another rigid body 2D. This time with the rigid body 2D, have a gravity scale of zero. And we're also going to need to set it to is kinematic. And this is because if it's not kinematic, it will have this weird 
drag where, let me show you. As you can see, without it being is kinematic, it doesn't really follow the bat that well. But then when I set it to is kinematic, it follows the bat exactly. Now, let's create our script. And it's going to function very similarly to our bat movement. Let's just name this ball controller. And open it. But first, let's think about what we want our ball to do. If you haven't pressed it left, it needs to be an is kinematic rigid body. But then when you press space, the is kinematic rigid body is disabled and it can just fire off in diagonal directions wherever you want. And the way we're going to make it launch is to be based on your last input on the keyboard. So if you press right, it'll fire to the right. If you press left, it'll fire to the left. So let me just reset this position and start coding that. So once again, we're going to want the same private rigid body 2D. I'm just going to copy and paste because I can use the same variable. And then in the start function, I want to say rb.iskinematic equal to true. And then here, actually, in the back controller, this is where I want to set it to false. So I'm going to create another line, another input, get key down, and then a key code dot space. And then in here, I want to access a variable in the back controller. However, because of that, I'm going to create a static public bool named can move. And we're going to initialize it to false. So in here, we're going to set can move equal to true. Oh, I made a bit of a mistake. This is ball controller, not bat controller. Now that that's done, we can start moving our ball around. So in our update function, we're going to have two if statements. If you can move, this is where we're going to control the movement directions else if not can move. And this is where we're just going to make it is kinematic. Now just for testing purposes, I'm going to fire the ball in a 45 degree angle. So let's just say 5f comma 5f. And then we're going to enter our game scene and click play. But first, I forgot to set RB to get component of rigid body 2D. Okay. So now, if I were to go into play, I can move my ball and bat around, and if I press space, it launches. But then it just goes off to nowhere. Now the reason our ball is flying through our colliders is because it is kinematic. So when we can move, we also want is kinematic to be false. But now if I were to go into play, we have our ball firing and it bounces, but not really. What we need to do here is give it a material. So I'm going to create a physics 2D material, and we're going to name this Ball Bounce. And we're going to set the friction to 0 and bounciness to 1. 
and this will make it so it can bounce with complete elasticity, meaning it travels one way and bounces off the colliders. So now if I were to go enter the game view, it should bounce. However, as you can see, it's all glitching out and stuff. This is because we are constantly making it so its velocity is traveling up 5 and right 5. What we need to do is make it change its velocity when it hits a wall. So we don't actually want to control the velocity here. So I'm going to comment this out. Instead, what I want to do is change the velocity based on what it collides with. So for example, if it were to collide with our bat, I want the y velocity to go from negative to positive. If it collides with the right collider, I want it, the velocity to go from positive x to negative x. So then top goes from positive y to negative y, and then the left goes from positive y, or negative x to positive x. And that's the reason why I have this ball bounce. So if I were to instead change the velocity right here in start, you will be able to see it bounce. So if I were to go click play and enter the game scene, oh wait, first I need to initialize this to true, otherwise it yeah, I need to set can move to true, otherwise it won't move because it is kinematic. So now if I were to go click play, you should see it bouncing, and which it is. Okay, that's a huge problem. What we, we don't want our bat to be able to spin around like that. So we need to have it set to a fixed angle. One way we can emulate to getting a fixed angle, just taking our mass and making a big number, and doing the same thing with our angular drag. And now, if I were to click play and see how the ball bounces off the bat, you can see that it just bounces in another direction without losing any of its bounciness or its speed, which is precisely what we want to have happen. So now we have our bat moving and our ball bouncing. However, there's one thing we need to take care of. When the ball ba goes past the um, is trigger collider on the bottom, we want it to reset back to the position and become is kinematic once more. We also want to make it so our ball can actually collide or you can actually choose which direction your ball is going to launch based on the last direction you pressed on your keyboard. So that will be the topic for the next video. So anyway, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions on how to improve these series, please let me know. And I hope you tune in for the next episode. Goodbye.